Well, this is the last piece in the Paragon tea set we've been listing this morning. This is first choice bone china made by Paragon during the last bit of the 20th century when they were being managed by Royal Albert. And this is the only piece that really doesn't shout Montrose shape in its moulding, but it does have some lovely features. Little bit of ribbing around the rims here, scallop rolling rim with gilt and the decoration that they've picked out on these moulded eared handles with the gilt again is absolutely beautifully done. Paragon China marks on the rear, first choice. There we go, everything's sound with that. And the glaze on this piece, absolutely bright, uh, nearly mint. Just look at that, hardly a knife mark on it. If it has been used at all, it's been very lightly used. And the enamels, again, let me just focus in on this and talk a little bit about this. It's basically a transfer uh, pattern that's been printed onto here with these uh, lattice work of leaves in a sort of very subtle uh, grey green. And then the decorators have picked out all these flowers. You can feel the glazes and the enamels used on here. So the blues, the whites, the reds, the whites, the yellows, the whites, all being hand applied. And that just gives this china an absolutely beautiful feel and lovely look. Really does stand out beautifully. And this is part of a tea set we've been listing, as I say, milk jug, sugar bowl and some trios all being listed on the Vintage and Antiques website. So do have a browse through. If you follow the link from YouTube, it will take you through to the listing for this plate. But uh, loads more Paragon First Choice for you to have a look at. Thanks for watching.